What's going on? This is Kareem from DJBooth.net, and I'm here in the lab to give you guys a quick review video of the new Audio Technica ATH M50X BT or Bluetooth Wireless Edition and monitoring headphones. So, if you guys remember a few years ago, we reviewed the ATH M50X, which is the newest iteration of the original Audio Technica ATH M50s. Those are studio champion headphones that have been used all over the world for many, many years, and they finally came out with an updated version the 50x which had three removable cables and it had the same kind of design the same quality of sound and the same overall aesthetic of the originals just to appease people who really love these from the very start and now we have their newest iteration which is exactly the same as the 50x but it adds Bluetooth inside of it so that way you have all of the wireless technology so you can take these with you on the go so first up, we're just going to get into the accessories that come with it. You guys remember the original ATX M50X came with the pouch. It also came with three different cables. It came with a straight cable that was kind of small. It also came with a nice long coiled cable, 10 feet, stretches out to even longer than that. And then a long 10 feet straight cable as well. And another thing that the 50X has is a port that allows you to kind of lock in your connection so that way everything's nice and locked with the m50 xbt edition you get the pouch similar to the pouch that you get from the original 50x and you only get two cables you get one audio cable this time it's a very very thin cable it's better used for your different devices that you might want to use it with like your laptops or any type of phones mp3 players etc but it also comes with another cable so that way you can charge this using USB. It's a micro USB connector and all of your Bluetooth controls are on the left ear cup and the audio port is there as well. You have your plus minus for your volume control along with the middle button that allows you to mute the sound and you also have the charging connecting port. Then you have your audio connecting port in case you want to use these without Bluetooth mode. You can use these with regular mode. And then you have your on and off pairing switch for Bluetooth. The Bluetooth works very, very well. The Bluetooth mode operates, they say, 10 hours. I use these for 8 hours and I still don't see any degradation in the actual Bluetooth battery when I'm looking it up on my devices. So I have to trust that this is going to last the full 10 hours as advertised but they have a very similar shape and feel to the 50Xs. They're almost identical, even in weight. The extra Bluetooth module does not add any real unwanted weight. It still has the same feel, the same lightweight feel to it as the others, and they look almost exactly the same. And I wouldn't be able to tell them apart unless I flipped them over to that left ear cup and I saw that they only had the Bluetooth sections on one of them and not on the other. So really, really good comparison to those is that they have the same exact aesthetics the same kind of feel they go completely over the ears and I'll do a quick demonstration so you can see what they look like on the ears from the front and from the side really good set of headphones they feel really good on the head not excessively clamping with the pressure and overall they still have the same exact sound signature as those they have a really good design all around they're built really tough they have a super flex headband but they're still all plastic which is still my major gripe with these if these were made in all metal i'm sure they would last a lot longer even though my originals that i have for years that i still use to this day for monitoring still work really really well if they were in all metal they probably would be even better than what you see here today they would be more robust they definitely would last longer and it would just be like the perfect headphone for me for my monitoring if these were all all metal but other than that they're plastic probably to save on weight so that way you're not bogging down your head when you're using them for long periods of time you have the ability to move them around swivel them rotate the ear cups uh, all the joints again are plastic here the hinges are all plastic with metal screws for sound quality the sound quality again is very very similar almost exactly the same 
as the 50 X's in the original 50s before them. They give you a nice crisp highs. You also get really clear, clear mids. And you do get a sense of a booming bass, but it's not like banging, vibrating, thumping bass. But it is a deep booming bass that you do get with these. So everything is still intact in the sound quality department. And when you're using these in wired mode or Bluetooth mode, the sound still sounds just as good either one that you're using them in. They're very, very similar in both sound signatures, which is really, really a plus. So these cost a bit more than those. These are $199 and these are at $159 right now. I would say that if you are in the market to get a pair of headphones and you're only going to buy one pair of headphones and you're going to use this with all of your different devices and with Bluetooth devices, then you can spring and go for the Bluetooth edition. But I really like the fact that the 50X actually has the locking cables here and they have more cable options. So if you're going to use these mostly for dedicated studio use, I would advise you guys to stick with the original 50X's. So that way you don't have to worry about having a smaller cable that does not have the ability to lock in place once you join it with the ear cup. Because when you're in the studio, you're not going to want to use all these Bluetooth features anyway. So unless you're really going to be on the go and you're going to use just one headphones for everything, for a production or for your monitoring and for you when you're on the go, then you can head up to the X50 BT edition. So in conclusion, the ATH M50X BT Bluetooth edition headphones are really good solid headphones, especially if you like the original M50s or the M50Xs that we have right here that we also reviewed on the channel. They have a really nice lightweight and comfortable design. They also have the ability to swivel and fold and it also comes with a straight cable in case you don't want to use this in Bluetooth mode. Also while in Bluetooth mode you're getting 10 hours of battery use which is really really good and it does really last that long and the sound sounds just as good when you're using this in Bluetooth mode or when you're using this in the cabled non-Bluetooth wireless mode. Since you also have a nice over-the-ear design, you're also getting really low sound leakage and really, really good isolation for when you are monitoring. And you're always gonna have the same crispy, great sound that you come to expect with the M50 brand for Audio-Technica. They have really crisp, crisp highs, really clear mids, and a nice, deep, booming bass. My downside, my only real negative with these headphones is that they're not built out of completely metal. It's a lot, a lot of plastic and even though mines have not broke or warped or cracked in any way after years of use I still have to make that one of my negatives because if this was built with all metal on hand then they would be almost indestructible so for more on the ATH M50X's you guys can head on over to their website www.djboot.net slash DJS or click on the video link at the top of this video description make sure you guys hit the thumbs up if you like videos like this one make sure you guys subscribe so that way you know exactly when the next videos are coming out and as always, thanks for watching.